Hello everyone. This video is going to talk about the WD My Passport Ultra Hard Drive Analysis, Repair, and Data Recovery. Every hard drive should have a model number to identify it. But for this kind of external hard drive, there is no model number on the outside of the enclosure. So how we can identify this kind of external hard drive to look for parts for repair purpose? Okay. On the back of the enclosure, there is a PN number. We can use this PN number to identify this kind of external hard drive to look for parts for repair purpose. This is the hard drive inside of the enclosure. This is the PCB board from the hard drive. In the red box is the PCB board number. We use this number to identify this PCB board to look for a donor board. This picture shows every basic uh, components on the PCB board and its function. First is the USB port. Second is the USB controller IC. Third is the motor IC. This IC control the motor on the hard drive to make it spin. Four motor contacts, 5. Actuator contacts. Actuator is the thing inside the hard drive, like a read right head and, uh, and related circuits. 6. Memory IC. This memory IC is used by the CPU on the PCB board to run programs. 7. CPU IC. This is the main IC on the PCB board to run program to control hard drive to communicate between the hard drive and the computer. 8. BIOS IC1. This is a memory chip. Uh, hard drive store some uh, unique configuration data inside it. 9. BIOS IC2. This is uh, also another BIOS IC on the PCB board. This is data is unique. When you do hard drive swap, you have to transfer these two BIOS IC from the original board to another donor board. The rest part of this video going to talk about it in detail. Hello everyone. This is a tutorial of how to swap the hard drive PCB board. Locate the model number of the hard drive. Locate the board number of the hard drive PCB board. Go to www.hdd-parts.com Search for the correct donor board. The correct donor board is found. Why do we have to do the PCB board from a transfer? Because for this model hard drive, one PCB board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. The PCB board firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. Regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware transfer, we have three things to mention. First, PCB board firmware transfer is different 
from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The PCB board firmware transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from one board to another board. The hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board. Second, we can do the PCB board firmware transfer from the physically damaged PCB board, like a burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. Third, we do the PCB board firmware transfer for our clients for free. This picture illustrated how to do firmware transfer. On the left hand side is a bad controller board. On the right hand side is a good controller board. Controller board firmware transfer means we transfer the data from the memory chip on the bad board to the memory chip on the good donor board. In the item description part, you can find a firmware transfer form. Please fill this form, print it, and ship together with the board. This picture shows how the clients ship their PCB board to us to do firmware transfer. This picture shows how we ship the donor board to our clients. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. Two, we fix the PCB board. Three, we ship back the PCB board to the clients. We carry old brand name hard drive PCB board. If you cannot find the correct donor board, or have other questions, you may take pictures of a hard drive and the PCB board, email to us. We will find the correct donor board or the best solution for you. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.